particularly excited by deep tech com companies uh, innovating at the cross intersection of disciplines like the intersection of uh, tech, data, and biology. My latest investment is to a company which makes biodegradable and antibacterial material from olive seeds. Um, so I think uh, we will continue to see interesting opportunities in uh, deep tech tools such as AI and computer vision. Uh, and those are the kind of uh, companies I'm interested in. Right now, we're looking uh, most, mostly into uh, clean energy, which is clean tech. We are looking into telemedicine with the current COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, we've realized that most people that have other ailments are not getting the attention from the, doc from the doctors. So we are looking at investing in uh, healthcare through uh, blockchain. Uh, as she rightly said, data is being held by most of the telecommunication companies. So using telecommunication or, or using their services and their data, uh, people will be able to contact their doctors uh, to tell them the symptoms and things like that. Uh, another thing we are investing in, in right now is clean tech. Uh, clean tech uh, is a very wide range, you know, the agriculture, uh, renewable energy, uh, waste of power energy. And uh, this is working for us in most developing countries because, uh, because they don't have those infrastructure. So we are looking to build the infrastructure and managing it for them. Uh, another area we are looking into is fintech. Fintech is growing, but people don't misunderstand blockchain and crypto. Uh, blockchain is very uh, widely used by governments and, 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 and big companies right now. Uh, crypto is just a, a small niche of it. And once the crypto is backed by asset or is promising, we also invest in that. I'm looking to see somebody which has got a patent. No a patent, let me tell you the technical words, which is intellectual property. So the IB can give us kind of monopoly in the market. Or somebody has got his skin on the game based of his giftedness or talented. What we have seen, we have seen people just as take it as a fun. So they call themselves as a startup and they come and they pitch for us. They are asking us to, to, to bump the money. And then if they, they, there is nothing to lose from them financially. And they have nothing. And most of the time as well, we surprised, we found them not even having the core of the project required like when it comes to the tech industry. They are not the hardcore coders and basically they just have an idea. They have nothing else. So what about the access to the market? Nothing. What about the technology is nothing. At least the minimum things we will talk about it is about the strategy. You know, are they strategizing it or is they just have no clue where they are heading out? So our personal level, we would love to find a, a startup where they have a core competencies and they are capitalizing in their own talent and giftedness with something that you can buy it from the shelf. Um, for me, it's mainly the team uh, because it really is the team that makes a difference uh, between taking an idea into uh, action or not. So, uh, of course, the uh, market is important, the uh, idea is important, but for me, the most important component is uh, the team. I agree. I agree that the team is very important. The team is what determines what they, their experience in the feed, is what determines what they are going to come out with. And then uh, I do look at the marketing plan, what kind of marketing plan do they have after having the money, uh, because most of them just want to raise money and then they're like, yeah, I, I raised the 100 million. But what are you going to do with that, with that 100 million? The truth is, it's just a loan. You have a loan that you need to spend on, on money. And some of them tend to raise their profit. Because we look at, we look at it from a traditional point of view. If you are going to invest 10 million in a business, in two or three years' time, you should be able to have a turnover to help you push your business forward. And when you don't have this plan, then we have a problem. So we look at it from a traditional way of, of, of funding. Uh, any business, because when you talk of white paper or whatever is the business plan. So we look at the business plan, okay, what, what, they, what, what are their steps that are taken? What is their aftermarket plan? What are they going to do with the money? So we look at all these uh, factors uh, that uh, will allow a normal company to work because all we are, we are doing in the fintech space is traditional finance, but in a way, uh, blockchain will allow transparency and accountability. Are they accountable for the money they're going to make? 
are they transparent enough for us to believe them? These are some of the factors we are able to look into and say, okay, by the time they have this product, will this product succeed in the market? But if they are not able to explain these three steps to me, we are just like, we are sorry, we cannot invest in, in the project. Alternatively, other things we do is to marry projects. There is no one good project out there. You have two, three projects that have the HRO is good, the other project in marketing is good, the other one in technology is good. So why don't you talk to these three people and marry their projects together? And they have one big and possible project that will succeed. So we are looking into marrying projects together to get the ultimate result. So I think, as, as we mentioned um, here, here by the, the, the panelists, the team is very important. And I think um, more over than just looking at what the team has achieved, looking at uh, what, what they have into it, because I've seen a lot of uh, founders that either have their, their heart in it, in, in a project or their mind and looking really um, into it and speaking with them about knowing what they want from it. You know, if, if a, if a founder of a company is looking uh, for an exit, that, that, that is fine. But being able to uh, speak, with, speak with the team to be able to align uh, on, a, on goals that are um, either visionary to become the next Google um, or to, to exit um, within five years, having uh, an overview of what that person feels um, emotionally uh, towards the project, um, in, in my opinion, will really um, enable you to to, to get an overview of how, how your investment is going to, to grow and the longevity of it. Yes, indeed, it is a kind of uh, introduction. At least you can get an insight, a gut feeling, you know, in terms of whether you will be interested to spend more time with them in terms of communicating with them or not. It's a good, let me say, executive summary of, uh, you know, shaking the idea with them. This is the first step, of course. I mean, this is a good way of uh, doing the first initial meeting. And of course, if the uh, investors are interested, there should be a deep dive. Uh, but I think as a first step, this is very good, very useful. Uh, being able to connect with people from all over the world without having to specifically travel um, definitely uh, definitely cuts a lot of a lot of costs and you're able to to speak to many more startups and be able to diversify um, your portfolio and and your time I mean um, if you're able to connect with maybe I don't know four four or five startups within one day what you would be only able to do with one day if you were to travel uh, to a specific uh, location so I definitely believe that this type of format um, is great and we'll be moving to a more digital uh, environment in, in the future I have been to uh, your conference in London and uh, FGC actually spoke there. And uh, you coming up with this idea of startups coming to present their business online is the way forward right now. Uh, it is cost effective. It is uh, a way to reach broader investors. We have investors all over the world and most of them cannot attend the conferences. With, with, with this kind of video, uh, Charlie, uh, web web tele teleconferencing, it's really important uh, at this time in time with the pandemic and everything, to keep people busy, to keep people motivated to do something. So uh, I really want to thank you and, and your team for doing for doing this to startup companies. It's really very very impressive. Uh, you are giving a platform to startups companies uh, to present to investors like us or people who have investors like us to uh, to to bring up their projects and people are able to invest into those projects uh, one way or the other. So you're really doing a very good job with it. And, and I'm happy Light Token has taken this, uh, this uh, opportunity and making good use of it. Uh, uh, but you, you're doing a very good job. You've just started and you have been, I'm really happy to be part of this, uh, of this event. And uh, I hope to come in again and I'll be reaching out to I, I watch all your previous ones and I'll be reaching out to people uh, who are pitching to see where we can invest and where we can uh, uh, help to marry projects together. Thank you. Um, well, this was my first event with uh, Letterkin. So uh, it was a very positive experience. Um, you know, I meet companies that I wouldn't be meeting otherwise uh, from all over the world. So um, I enjoyed it and I would like to uh, recommend it to my friends and uh, continue attending these events more. Being able to get, um, to get pitched right 
uh, different um, startups and then hear what different uh, investors think as well and then maybe collaborate with them on um, on different investment uh, strategies is definitely uh, definitely helps so being able to have this collaborative way um, of pitching is definitely definitely a great approach especially digitally and when we're all at home it's it's a great way to 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 spend spend the time productively well sunny once again you've blown me away with uh, what you've put here together i am truly truly impressed um you know as a speaker and as a trainer sandy you know that i mean last year i was just looking at the figures last year i was traveling and doing continents europe asia america and i was literally only for 45 days for the whole year at home and uh, today i'm already four weeks at home and i've been more productive sunny than ever before you know my wife gets irritated with me and my daughter's getting irritated with me because, you know, my productivity has just gone through the roof. I mean, we've been having meetings, trainings, uh, meeting investors. So that's the first thing I want to acknowledge you. Thank you very much for making a big difference in my life. Number one. Number two, I think the platform here is amazing because we get to get qualified investors in front of us. Sunny, once again, kuso to you for putting this together and for arranging for the the you know the participants and for the people that are giving us feedback and number three you know uh, what I've done is what Mr. Kingsley already said I uh, took your link that you've sent to me and I've sent it to two people I sent it to my whole team and number one and I sent it to prospect investors so while I'm doing and working with you I've already got 55 messages on my phone and this is all for qualified leads that uh, has been looking at your uh, webinar with us now and they're telling me please contact me so thank you very much for making my life uh, uh, amazing 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 